This is Letter to Sons. I'm Doug Keating. I'm identifying the best three albums by my top 50 favorite rock bands. Today, New Wave Sensations, number 34, The Fix. Here are the three criteria I use to create this list. First, the band must have released more than three albums. Second, greatest hits albums are permitted. You will see one today for a very specific reason. And I also mentioned the bone I have to pick with this band. And third, no live albums allowed. The Fix have released a few. They're pretty good. Have to confess, though, I have not seen this band live. Still on my list of bands I need to get to. The third best album by The Fix is their Greatest Hits. They actually have a few different flavors of Greatest Hits album, and that gets to the bone I have to pick with this band. They really limit access to their music on both Spotify, Apple Music, and I'm not really sure why. It's kind of odd. They stand out. If you go look on either one of those platforms, you'll see very limited access, and some of their albums just aren't even available. Come on, fix free the music so other people can enjoy how awesome your band is. The second best album by The Fix is Reach the Beach. This may be a surprise choice. This album was released in the early 80s and it was super popular with mega hit songs, One Thing Needs to Another, Saved by Zero, and several other excellent songs. Why is it not my favorite? I'll explain in just a moment. The best fix album is the one they released after Reach the Beach called Phantoms. Why is it better? Better songs. Sure, it did not sell nearly as many copies, but man, is it a really, really good album. I own it on vinyl. It has the hit song, Are We Ourselves, as well as Woman on a Train, Sunshine in the Shade, Lost in Battles Overseas, and some of you are saying, I've never heard of any of those songs. You haven't, you've probably never listened to them before. I recommend getting this album and listening to it. It's that good.